This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Yes, it is I. It is still me, Ryan. I, uh, I'm getting old now. I need, I need glasses. Ugh. It sucks. Today's video is all about three ways to grow your brand for free, absolutely free. And if you do these things, you will definitely see some growth. Growth means not only growth in your brand recognition, but also growth in sales, profits, and all that good stuff. If you're a small business owner or part-time hobbyist or whatever you call yourself, listen up because this is definitely going to help you in those areas. As a business or brand owner, it is so important to constantly have your products in front of your customers. That's the number one goal. Advertisers, that's their number one goal is to get people to look at your products. Because of the pandemic and the world that we're living in now, online shopping has spiked. I don't remember the last time I actually went in a store to buy something other than groceries. And even groceries you can do online. That's why it's so important to be on as many social media platforms as you can. The more accessible and the more available you are to your customers, the better it is for your brand. The more people that come to your website, the better it is for your sales. There are a ton of platforms out there. There's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, there are a ton of them and they're all free. The amazing thing about these social media platforms is that everything on them is shareable. So you can get your friends and family to share them or people that just like your products will share them. And it becomes this really cool way of just networking with different people without you even having to do anything. The main goal of your social media page is to bring people to your website. And a lot of these online platforms nowadays like Instagram and Facebook have ways that you can buy directly from the app. It's so easy and that's free, absolutely free. It's amazing what we have at our fingertips these days. So yeah, the takeaway from this is get on as many social media platforms as you can, as you have time for. I know it's very time consuming and that's why it's for free because you're spending your own time instead of your money to pay somebody else to do it. Okay, number two, great photos and video. This will grow your brand so much faster because there are a ton of people out there who just don't take good photos. And I don't think it's because they can't take good photos. They just don't think that it matters. All right, let's be real here. Let's take a minute and be real here. If you were going to a website that wasn't your own and you were going to buy a product from somebody and you saw the pictures there and they were all taken with a cell phone and some of them are blurry and there wasn't much thought put into that photo and nothing is really set up nicely and things aren't clear and the light is terrible. It's like fluorescent lighting. And is there something in you that sees that photo or that product and makes you say, yeah, I want that. I, wa I need that. Absolutely not. And why is that? Well, first of all, it doesn't look very appealing. And since it's a photo, you can only judge that product by the photo. And unfortunately in this world that we live in, everything has gone online. And so trying to sell a product with a really bad photo or very bad video, it's just not gonna work. And there are tons of people that come to me and say, hey, check out my work, check out my work, what do you think? And honestly, a lot of them just have these really terrible photos and I, I, their work might be great, but I don't get a good feeling from it. That's what branding is. It's making your products and your photos and, and the way your, your image of your brand is. You want it to look desirable. You don't wanna quickly just throw up photos on the internet and hope people will buy. There's a thought process behind it. And that's why people spend millions and billions of dollars on advertising and pictures and branding is because it's something special. It's something that you wanna make a connection with your customer. For me, my photos and videos are my frontline workers and I don't have to pay them a cent. I take a good photo, I take a good video, and it lives online forever. And I realize not all of us have that skill set of knowing how to do great photography or videography, but we can totally improve on what we have currently. There are many different resources all over the internet to help us with those exact things. This studio that I'm in now isn't just by mistake. I've got a light here, I've got a light here, I've got two lights off to the side, I've got this guy lighting me over here. There's a lot of thought and a lot of process that goes into whatever I do. And it's not just a quick like, all right, that's good enough, throw it up, think about it, spend some time with your product and take good photos. Speaking of learning how to do photography, I wanna take a minute and talk to you about 
Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of classes for creative and curious people, just like you and me. Whether it's photography, whether it's design, whether it's communication, creative writing, all of these things you're going to be using in your business. If you're starting your own business and you're doing your own product photography, I highly recommend this class called DIY Product Photography Style and Shoot Creative Stills with Rachel and Daniel from Mango Street Labs. They go through all the ins and outs of DIY product photography. They explain everything very clearly, especially if you've never done any photography before. They're fun, they're energetic, they know what they're talking about, and this will definitely help you in your journey when it comes to product photography. One of the greatest things about Skillshare is that it is incredibly affordable. An annual membership is less than $10 a month. And since Skillshare is specifically curated for learning, there are no ads and they're constantly updating new classes all the time. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of premium Skillshare. What's better than that? A free trial. So no matter what 2021 throws at you, you will be ready to hit the ground running with Skillshare's online classes. What you find just might surprise or inspire you and it might just change your life. Okay, let's get back to it guys. Okay, way number three to grow your brand and it's kind of different. It's, it's thinking outside the box a little bit here. About five years ago, when I first started Little King Goods, I was wondering how can I grow my brand? How do I get it out there? And then my dad sent me this article of one of my friends in Arizona. And the article spoke about how they grew as a brand and how they grew as a company. And it was so inspiring to me that I just, it captured my attention and I wanted to know more about them. And because of that article, I went to the website and I checked it out and it was just incredible to see the growth and just the way that they had started this business and how they were growing it and how they planned on to continue growing it. And I thought that is the coolest way of getting your name out into the public, especially in your local area. I thought, hey, why don't I get into my local newspaper? But how do I do that? The local newspaper isn't just gonna come up to me one day and say, hey, you know, I, I noticed that you do leather craft. Can we do a story on you? No, what, what I did is I actually called up a few newspapers or online newspapers and asked them if they'd be willing for me to share my story with them or if it would be possible for me to write a story and send it in for them to publish. The crazy thing was is that they said, no, 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 we would love to interview you. So they set up a phone call with me and they just pretty much asked me the story of how I started my brand. A Couple weeks later, it was published in the online newspaper and a crazy thing happened. Three or four other newspapers came to me and asked me if I would like to do a story with them. And then two or three magazines came to me and asked if I would like to do a story with them. So it really just started snowballing from that one call that I played to a, a local newspaper. One thing you just got to realize is that you are your own advertising department. No one is going to come reach out to you. You really have to go out and get what you want. No story is going to fall into your lap. No sales are going to fall into your lap. You have to go out and make yourself quote unquote famous because nobody cares about your business as much as you do. Be creative. Think outside the box. The people who are successful in life are the ones who actually go out and do something, go out and get it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Those three ways will definitely help you grow your brand and your business. It takes time, not everything is gonna happen overnight, but you'll slowly start to see that when you start your social media pages, when your photography and video look incredible, and when you start going and reaching out to different people in different publications or, or whatever it might be, you will 100% see some growth. If I can do this, I started from nothing. I had no idea about branding, no idea about running a business. If I can do this, so can you. And this is how I did it. Guys, that's all I have to say for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, you know what to do. And I also have a Patreon account. If you'd like to support me through that, I'd be more than happy to answer your questions in depth through that platform. All right, guys, that's it for me. Enjoy your day, be safe and God bless. Peace.